Unboxing time. Here, a master liquid ML240L. After unboxing the unit, uh, you, will, you will see that you have your uh, radiator, uh, both of the fans, uh, screws that you will need, uh, the connectors, the paste, thermal paste, and adapter for an AMD CPU. So these are the things that we will need. So this guy right here, this is the one that clips towards the side of this stock mounting bracket. You will need this, both of the fans. This is screw sets for the fans and for the chassis mount. The RGB connectors. Four screw to mount the heat sink towards this clips. Now what we're gonna do is the fan assembly. So we will attach uh, the fan to the radiator. And these are the screws that we will be using. There you go. So those are the screws that we were gonna be using the long ones. We have eight of this for eight mounting points of both of the fans. Just want to hand tight all the screws for now. Just snug it with your screwdriver. After securing the fan to the radiator. The next step that we're gonna do is to add this mounting bracket like this. Yep, the tab that hooks to the mounting bracket of the AMT board should be facing down and the 
the thumb screw will be on top. Just like that. I will just lift this plastic tab just a little bit so I can uh, put in the screw but I will remove that plastic when we're ready to install it okay uh, side note there's a lot of guys that install the entire cooling system without peeling the plastic and that would cause you an issue. Now your bracket should be looking like this. Now we're ready to remove the stock cooling system of this motherboard. Once this one is out, You want to make sure to clean up your processor. You want to remove the old paste out of it, thermal compound paste. And then after that, we will, ins we will be installing our cooling system. So you can uh, put your cooling system towards the front, but I am mounting it at the top. Yep, so I will be mounting it. I will be mounting the radiator towards the top. Okay, now it's time to prep the wiring. So I will be starting with the fan cables. So routing all the wires towards the back and then this would be for the RGB connector and you have the arrow point towards uh, the 12 volt sign Those are the way that we have so far. Yeah, this one is connected to the fan splitter, and this one is for the RG. And now we're ready to install the cooling system. First things first, we want to add. Thermal paste, I'm using Arctic Silver. And before you install, peel it off.
after attaching the pump to the mounting bracket you want to gently tight on both sides You want to apply equal amount of pressure on both sides. Just like that. And once that is secure, we are now ready to mount our radiator towards the top or you're looking at it towards the side. Side note, make sure that your radiator is fully secured on top. After installing the radiator and your pump, it's now time to put this guy. After connecting the fans and the RGB cable, now it's time to do a little bit of cleanup and cable management. After our cable management, so that's the front how it looks, and that's how it looks at the back. Now it's time for us to put in front panel. All right, so after, after we install our Cooler Master uh, radiator fan and cooling pump, uh, we're now ready to turn it on. We put up on BIOS and then now we're calibrating the fans and we're also trying to see if there are any changes on temperature.
Okay, right now we are at four gigahertz of uh, CPU speed, and then the memory. Uh, memory speed is at 2133. And that will be our RTX 2060 video card. So the scores are up. Uh, two days ago, our score was 33.55, and now our new score is 34.98. So it went up 0.5.